Lord, help us to see you more clearly, to love you more dearly, to follow you more nearly, day by day. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Our gospel reading from today features Jesus explaining something to his disciples in the midst of a prayer. It's not the clearest of things Jesus has ever said. Um, it's, it's a lot of, I am with them, but they are not with me, and I am with you, Lord, but they're here with me, and they're not here with you, I think. <laughs> it's, it's hard to follow, isn't it? I had written out this uh, beautiful sermon that was going to meticulously explain every sentence in this whole prayer for y'all, but, uh, but I've, I've torn that up because something else happened this week, of course. Um, on Ascension Day, Thursday, the day when we celebrate the Lord rising into the heavens, somebody placed an explosive device at our, at our church, at the office, and, um, and though when it was detonated, no one is here, no one was hurt. Thanks be to God, everyone is safe. Nevertheless, it's caused a lot of fear. It's caused a lot of anxiety. It's, it's disrupted our, our sense of safety in our world. It's done a lot of harm in its own way. But I realize in the midst of what happened this week, it actually explains, it shines a new light on Jesus' prayer here in a way that I had not experienced before. I get this in a new way I didn't get before. I have, I've never been more grateful than I am today to be a Christian. To be somebody who can proudly say, my safety rests in the Lord. To be somebody who knows that when Jesus is sharing with his disciples that they are in this world, but they do not belong to this world, that what he is sharing with them is that we as Christians play by a different set of rules than the rules that are out in the world. These are people that were told that if somebody offended them the wrong way, they had the right to stone them. That some people were loved more by God than other people. These were the rules of their world, and, and Jesus was telling them, as Christians, I'm giving you a new set of rules to play by. Rules where if someone means you harm or hurts you, you forgive them. You give them compassion and love. If you are afraid, you can turn to each other and turn to the Lord, but not turn to hate. We live in a world now where, according to the rules of our world, we, we have the right to, to hurt someone back for hurting us just the right way. We have the right to... To hate someone or judge someone, we have, we have the right to hurt someone before they have the chance to hurt us. But Jesus is giving us a different set of rules as Christians, isn't he? This set of rules that he's giving us as Christians are rules of compassion and, and love. I have never been more grateful than today to be a Christian in this world. <clears throat> I've never been more grateful to be an Episcopalian than I am today. To be somebody who knows that we are part of a bigger family here. We have our bishops, we have churches across the country, churches across the world that have gathered together with us in support and prayer and love. I worry, I, I pity, you know, non, the little non-denominational churches out there that, that are not part of a greater family and who they would have to rely on and turn to in, in moments of great tragedy. I feel blessed to be an Episcopalian and to be part of a family that says, when you're afraid, we're here with you. When you've been hurt, we're here with you. Across this whole world, I'm grateful to be an Episcopalian today. <clears throat> I have never been more thankful to be a member of St. Stephen's than I am today. When Jesus gathered his disciples together, because he was ascending into the heavens and he was leaving them as they await the Holy Spirit to come and form their new church, he gave them each other. 
He gave them each other and said, I'm not leaving you alone. I'm leaving you here with one another to strengthen each other, to support one another. And I am grateful to be a member of St. Stephen's where we gather together with each other and, and we're not alone. We're not alone. We can share each other, share each other's pain, hold each other when we're afraid. I'm grateful to be able to gather here with y'all this morning as the people of St. Stephen's and to look forward to the Holy Spirit coming in our midst and the church that we're going to build together. And I have never been more grateful than I am today to be a human being in this world. A human being who knows what it's like to be hurt, to be afraid, to be alone. It makes me better when I come across somebody else who is hurting or afraid or alone. I'm grateful to be a, be a human who has made mistakes, who has hurt people, and knows what it's like to need forgiveness. God's forgiveness and the forgiveness of people around me. Because I've messed up. It makes me a better person for when I come across other people who have done wrong, who have hurt and are in need of forgiveness. I'm grateful that we as human beings have this hurt that comes to us sometimes in our lives because it makes us better for each other. As we gather together as a church, I am so thankful for each and every one of you gathered here today. I'm so glad that we could do this today. I'm glad that as we celebrated the ascension when Jesus rose into the heavens and we are awaiting next Sunday when we celebrate the birthday of the church and the Holy Spirit coming into the midst in our world, that we get to celebrate <clears throat> because we're Christians, because we're Episcopalians. Because we are members of St. Stephen's. <coughs> we are fellow human beings. Let us give thanks for these great gifts that we have.